If you have difficulty walking up or down stairs, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Candy, and in this video, I'll share tips to make it easier and less painful to walk up and down stairs. Now, I've made other videos on this topic in the past, and I had a viewer comment that it would be really helpful to see the technique of walking up and down stairs on an actual staircase. Now, for the purposes of filming, it's hard to get the right camera angle on an indoor staircase, so most of the time, videos like this are demonstrated on an aerobic step. But I did want to actually go through the technique on an actual staircase. If you're looking for exercises to help go up and down stairs, you can check out a playlist that I'll link to in the description below. But this is actually the technique of walking up and walking down stairs to make it easier. So when you're walking upstairs, you need to be able to drive using your front leg to propel you up the stairs. Now that uses largely the glutes of your front leg and the higher the stair, the more difficult it is. This is a reasonably shallow set of stairs. So going up one step at a time isn't incredibly difficult on here, but if you had a larger step height, that requires more strength out of your glutes. Now to be able to go up and down stairs, it helps to utilize your momentum. So you're not just stepping up one step, stepping up the next step, stepping up one step, you're actually driving through, much like a sprinter would start out of the blocks and accelerate upwards. Additionally, if you think about that sprinter analogy, they don't stand upright like this when they're running. They're actually inclined in the direction that they're going. So if you lean your trunk slightly forwards in the direction of going up the stairs, then push down with the heel of the front leg. So instead of thinking about lifting your body up, think about pushing the stair down using your heel. And don't think about stepping up to the next step, but think about stepping through the next step. So you're gonna keep your momentum going upwards. I'll show this in real time and then I'll break it down. So you're gonna hit the ground with your heel and just go through like that. So again, you're not doing one step at a time, but you're using the momentum going through this step to land on the next one, create more momentum, and keep carrying that momentum up, whether you're doing one step or two steps. Now, obviously, if you have difficulty going upstairs at all, you're probably not gonna be going up two steps at a time. So to see that one more time, lean into the slant of the staircase, drive your heel down to press the stair down rather than pressing your body up, and then drive through the stair and on to the next. So, like that. Now, going down the stairs requires different muscle activation. If you did nothing going down a stair, gravity will take you down without doing anything. And in fact, that is one hack to make going downstairs a little bit easier. If you take the ball of your foot and you hang it over the edge of the step so that you can kind of roll over instead of requiring a lot of ankle dorsiflexion to go over, and then just allow gravity to take you down and catch yourself on the next one. So you're kind of coming down like that, where you're not doing a lot of muscle action, you're letting gravity take you down. That's particularly helpful if you have more of a painful knee on just one side. You hang that ball over, step down, use the good leg to step down to the next, hang the ball over, roll down, roll down, roll down, roll down. So that's one hack, but if you wanna go down a little bit more slowly and more controlled, there is the fear of falling downstairs. And by the way, if you do have rails available, I would recommend using those, but sometimes you're carrying things in your hands and you don't necessarily have that luxury. So if you don't have anything to hold on to, you need to be able to dorsiflex your ankle and go down. So a good tip to do that is to reach over, go as much as you're able to, kind of allow your ankle to roll a little bit, and then drop quickly. So if you go down really slow, your muscles and your thighs have to work a lot harder to slow down that force of gravity, versus if you get to a point where you feel like you're starting to have pain, just let go of the muscle, and it becomes a lot easier. Go down as much as you can, and just drop, drop drop, drop. Now that can be 
fear provoking if you have trouble going downstairs. So again, use safety first and hold on to the rail. Now, as an exercise, I mentioned I wouldn't really cover a lot of exercises, but this is a pretty easy one to do. Just hold on to a rail, stand on the bottom step of the staircase. Don't do it in the middle like I am here. And just practice doing a little step down this way off the bottom step of the staircase to help strengthen your thigh muscle, as well as get you more used to going into that knee over toe type of position that you need to go downstairs. So we'll review both of those one more time. Going up the stairs, lean into the slant of it, drive through, push the stair down, and go up fast. Going down, you also want to try to go down fast, but allowing gravity to take you down, take you down, take you down, take you down, take you down. So hopefully you did find this video helpful to go up and down stairs more easily and with less pain. If you'd like more tips to go up and down stairs, check out this playlist over here. But before you go check that out, if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.